go. Okay, so welcome to another edition of Featured Business, brought to you by Visibility Impact and your host, myself, James Moffat. And we have our 68th guest who's here today. And Yuri, if you could just say your name because I'm going to pronounce it all wrong. Yuri, it's, it's Yuri. very hard to pronounce. It took about four months to my fiance to learn my name. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if you could just say your full name. Uh, Yuri Belezny. Right, okay, Yuri. Right. I, I forget people's names, so please excuse me. So you are our 68th guest, so welcome. Thank you. And you have a live audience here, which we'll interact with. Uh, we're going to take you through a journey, basically from your childhood, where you were born, up to your present day now, what you're doing. Was there any pivot points in your life, or maybe many? And learn more about you and and then the audience can also ask questions. You can ask them questions and can, can make it interactive. Uh, we normally kick this off with Emily, who normally sings a song, a live song, but she's not feeling too well today. So she's given us a recording. So we're just going to kick it off with a recording of one of her songs. Okay. She let me pick it. So I'm, I'm just going to transition across to my other screen and, and play this. Uh, just for a, a few minutes we'll just play that song and then once we come back of that we'll go straight into into your story okay so just let me share that so everything clear so far this is the easy going nothing to worry about there's no trick questions or anything and it's all to help uh promote what you're doing and to gain some visibility about you. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. Okay. Let's just check that the sound works on it as well. So I picked, she gave me basically her YouTube channel and she said, pick a song. So I picked this one, not heard it before. So here we go. Just, just, just give me the thumbs up if you can hear it. Can hear it? Mm. No? Oh, one second. Let me just make sure I did that. Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. I've got to tick that box. You always have to tick that box. Right. Here we go again. Right. You should hear it this time. Hear it? No? No. Really? Uh, when you shared the screen, did you share the icon? Yes, yeah, yeah. I, share sound? Right, then here, it should not be a problem. Right, I did put a tick in the box. All right, it should be there. Right. Okay, let's try third time.
Dream a little dream of me. Bravo. Bravo. I learned something from this song about Emily. She's using her left hand. Sorry, she's what? She's writing with her left hand. Yeah, I noticed that as well. I was just going to say, was yeah, it? A, I didn't uh, realize. I didn't know she was left-handed because she plays the piano and everything as well. Right, so just a little bit about Emily just before we get going. So Emily's originally from London or the UK somewhere, grew up in London, uh, and she lives in Lausanne. So she's a neighbor of yours. Mm -hmm. So you should connect. She she does a lot of work with children and she play groups and stuff. She she did a, a last theme was Harry Potter and she she does a adventure things with with kids. And then she she sings with them. She teaches singing and she plays the piano and the guitar and she okay. does our own songs and she covers songs and she does all the back end sound herself. So when you hear the harmony and everything, that's her. So you should definitely connect because you're neighbors and also maybe you could help her with something okay. that you do that we're going to come on into a minute. Okay. So that's, so you, you feeling, you feeling good? Yeah. I've done many times this thing. So I'm, I'm confident I can, I can have a thousand people in front of me and share my story. Right. Okay. Excellent. So we're, just going to take you back through memory lane a little okay. bit about where you're from so just tell me where are you now and then we'll go back to where where you've come from so where now, do you it's will be it will it's 14th of february will be uh five years that, I live, that i'm living in switzerland okay. and i'm originally from slovakia where i was born and raised okay excellent and uh, where in slovakia I lived on the east side, close to the mountains. Okay, because I, I've been to Slovakia a few times, but typically to Bratislava. Mm -hmm. I, I also uh, traveled a lot in Slovakia. So, wait, which town it is? Uh, from Poprad. All right. I've never been there. <laughs> okay, so we... I'm going to learn a bit about you now. So how long have you been in Switzerland, by the way? Five years. Exactly. Five years. It will be five years. Right. And so going back to your birthplace, and so you've got any brothers or sisters, any siblings? Yes, I have. I have older brother who was 42, I think. 42, yeah, 42. He lives in uh, Basingstoke, close to London. All right. And uh, I am the one who actually like travel around the world a little bit. All right. Although he's living in London, so but, yeah. So he, somebody, so I, I'm somebody who couldn't really like settle down and sit on one place while we are younger. So this was something you had like, as a child. You wanted to travel. I wanted to meet people from from different countries, from around the world, learn different languages, uh, <laughs> have a different girlfriend, not just Slovakian, you know not just the same all you know like uh, born and being raised finish study get married and settle down no this was not this you. is what my parents want me to do right. but this is not what i wanted to do so as a kid growing up uh you had the the, the feeling then that you wanted to travel or or it was something I, that came later i wanted to this oh it's been since I was like 16, 17, I always watched like uh, international movies and international, obviously TV channels and stuff and see there is, there is more for my, there is, how can I describe it? There is more for life to give me than rather to stay at home, finish study and just live life, work and die. Mm -hmm. If I have to be honest, this is how I, this is how I take in my life now. I don't want to just, I have a job, live life, and die. You know, some people they they do it work to live. I live to work. Yeah, well, there's a difference between existing and living. 
So yes. one part is kind of existing and so kind and of paying, paying the bills and stuff. Yes. And the other part is living. Yes. And, and I encourage everyone to live and in turn, maybe questioning what you're actually doing. Are you living or existing? I'm living every day. Since exactly. I started living from the age of 35 when everything has changed. Uh, we'll and, get there. So from the age of 35, so how old are you now? I'm 38. All right. Oh, so only recently you started to live. Yes. All right. So was there a turning point that made you realize that then? It was when I moved to when I moved to Switzerland because <clears throat> my, my fiance is French and uh, she was always talking about Switzerland, Switzerland. I'm like, look, I don't know what I'm going to do in Switzerland. Like what? You know, first thing was the language and uh, then to uh, to go somewhere and like start from the beginning and like moving somewhere. You don't know anything about it, like nothing, like you just moved. So it was 2016 in November when I came home and I said to her, like, let's go. She's like, you sure? Yeah, let's go. Like, let's do it. Let's let's make this decision. Let's do it now or never. You know, like you may, you have to make it. You have to make a choice and, and act and not later on cry about it, about the decision that you made. You know, so I was like, okay, let's go. So she was kind of lucky because she's French and we're living in the French part. So uh, for her, it was easier to find a job. Well, not for me, but this was the excitement. Okay, then let's just hold that moment. I'm just going to go back a little bit now. Okay. So growing up as a kid, did you yeah. aspire to do anything? I mean, did you want to, because I know like with Boyan, he wanted to be a, a spaceman. He wanted to be an astronaut, right? So did you aspire to be anything or? No, I didn't really focus on that. I wanted to be something. And, and kind of going through schooling and everything, was there a focus on, yeah, I, I'm doing this education for a particular role at the end of it? Or it's just kind of like doing it because you had to go to school? Yes, yes, yes. I had to go to school because I mean, my parents want me to go to school. Right. And I never, I never, I never finished, I don't have education. I never finished my studying because it just wasn't my thing. I ended up in the third, I was in high school, okay, high school or university, no, high school, high school, college, college. Yeah. I end up in a third grade, I would, I think it's third grade, I'm not sure how, how exactly it is, and I ended up with, with C's and D's. Yeah, so I, I would disagree with kind of, you're saying you don't have an education, because the, the schooling system, as we know, is broken, and it has been for a long time, and it's yes. all about academia uh, rather than emotional intelligences and also the gifts that you naturally possess which yeah. most people never discover so i i think the schooling system wasn't necessarily for you in the way it was but it yes. wasn't it wasn't for the fact that you're not educated because you're educated probably far greater than the average person in in a worldly life experience yeah, yes, that kind so, of. So, so if you could, cool, yes, if you could be graded on that, I'm sure it's going to be more than a C. Yes, I'm kind of this kind of the life experience school kind of. <laughs> exactly, and I yeah. noticed actually on a lot of people's LinkedIn profiles that actually say school of life, and, oh, like uh, and 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 stuff like that because that is true. I mean, Einstein actually even said himself, "You don't start learning until you leave school." Because it's kind of a brainwashing while you're at school. All right, there's fundamental things that you need to understand, like speaking and maths and, and whatever. But the, the rest of it is just, most of it is utter rubbish. Then my mom teach me a lot of things, like how to stay clean, you know, how to look after yourself, how to iron. Like in, in my household, I'm doing the laundry and an ironing because I, I enjoying it. Like yeah. I like it. It gives me so much pleasure. But that's a skill. I, I remember when I traveled a lot, uh, I, I, well, my mom, when I was younger, used to do the ironing, but she used to get me tram lines down the, the shirts, right? Yeah. And they I think, oh, come on, yeah, yeah. I said, come on, I just want one line. I don't want two. Yeah. yeah. And then 
Uh, so she said, do it yourself. I said, oh, I don't know how. And she said, well, stop complaining. So I thought, I will have to learn how to iron them. So then I iron like with one perfect one down here. And I was proud of that. Like when I go into meetings, I'm looking at other people's shirts. I'm thinking, oh yeah, you've got a line that goes all the way up and around the back and down again. I think, you don't know how to iron. I'm going to give you yeah. some lessons. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, I mean, these are skills also, but just kind of moving on from that. So I, I admire you in the way that we're going to come on to a lot of that about the way that you've actually done something and, and if you weren't necessarily in the box to want to come out of the box the, the box didn't fit your personality or your style yeah. so and and then what you're doing now is is something magical but we're, we're going to come on to that in a minute so uh memorable experiences i just want to talk about those so kind of anything that you want to share with us about either an activity or a sport or or something uh sports i'm not really sportive person because i, I no. try to go to gym but it's not really my thing yeah, it's not boyan's thing either no it's i have tried <laughs> i i even during a switzerland i had a private coach who who kind of helped me to lose some weight and stuff like that but um lose some weight I, i've never seen you fat yeah i i since i since i'm a parent yeah because you finish the food that your kid doesn't eat oh yeah so yes. basically everything you know well, that, that's the thing don't give yourself any a, a portion or anything just yeah. wait because you're going to end up eating the kids anyway yeah so uh, i have tried to but i do like to go to the mountains a lot like by myself especially i like to go in the mornings especially on mondays because there's nobody because everybody's at work on monday and, and every time when I travel, when I travel, I, I like to go to the mountains during a week because there's nobody. There's just few people, less people than like Saturday, Sundays. Yeah. Tell me about skydiving. Oh, uh, yeah, that was good. I've done skydiving in, in Dubai. That was in Dubai. Dubai. Wow. That was a destination that I wanted to move, but uh, I went there with my fiance. I've done an interview, but we are not married, we are engaged. Mm -hmm. marriage not really kind of important thing into my life at all and uh she's like uh what are you gonna do in the way i'm like oh i'm going skydiving she's like okay let's go so we jumped at the same time together from the same plane oh. also, yeah i loved it i love the ad adrenaline like i enjoyed it so well, much you said you're not very sporty but i mean that is pretty sporty i it was just something uh it was on a bucket list yeah yeah there's few things still on the bucket list that I wanted to do, and I can do it here in Switzerland. So I don't really have to travel for this stuff. Yeah. So because there's a, lots of skydiving in Switzerland. Yeah, but Dubai, you cannot beat skydiving in Dubai. Maybe you can beat skydiving in Switzerland, especially for the mountains, but you cannot yeah. skydive during the winter because if you go up, you will probably freeze. Yeah, yeah. So, and during the summer, I'm so, not really... So, whose idea was that, the skydiving? Mine. That was the only reason I went to Dubai. Like, yeah, yeah. I went for the interview and yes, yeah, okay, perfect. I'm like, tomorrow is skydiving. But I, and that interview, did you get the job or...? What? Yeah, I did get the job, but I refused because we were not, we were not able to live together. Because you weren't married? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, Dubai, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you cannot live together unless you're married. Really? Yes. Oh, okay then. So, <laughs> but you didn't know that before you went. I didn't, but I didn't know that would be that bad. Oh. So I was like, okay, I stay in London, and then we moved to then we moved to Switzerland. Okay. Anyway, so you had some good skydiving. Oh yeah. You done it since the skydiving, or, or just that once? Sorry, say, say it again. You, you did more skydiving, or is it just that once? Once in the lifetime, that's enough. Right. And and the feeling. Oh yeah, it was amazing. Like you, this is the things that I recommend to try it to everyone. But 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 these are tandem. I mean, you're there with a an instructor. Oh yeah, of course. And I, I wouldn't jump. Uh, it depends. Sometimes you have to jump alone to get somewhere because yeah. if you're standing on the top of the mountain, you don't jump. You won't see how it feels. Yeah. No, no. I was with somebody. Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. So he said, "You're on the back." Or on the 
No, the person was on the back. I was on the front, so All I can right. enjoy the view. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, no, recommend it to everyone. Yeah, yeah. especially and, Dubai. And, and your girlfriend did it as well. Yeah, she was right after me. All right, and she enjoyed it as well. well yeah. Okay. Well, it's good. Good fun. All right. Yeah. I'd love the experience, but I don't know. I would have to do a tandem because I, I couldn't get myself to, to get over the edge. No, no, no. You cannot. You have to practice a lot before you jump by yourself. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah I'd, I'd like to feel it. I, I'm trying to dream that feeling so I don't have to do it. You see? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's a good feeling. Yeah. I, I can imagine. So that that is pretty sporty anyway. So, yeah, just coming back to, you mentioned that you're now in in Lausanne. So going back to your girlfriend, where did you meet her? We met in London in 2000, uh, 2000, 2014. So what took you to London? Uh, I worked for I worked for an international company called the Marriott, the hotel, in the, 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 the hotel chain. Yeah. And I have managed to be in America for about six or seven years. That I worked for this company. He was the company who sponsored my visa and everything. And then, uh, so that was direct from Slovakia. Uh, yes, pretty much. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So and, and then and uh, why why in particular London? Uh, because everybody speaks English over there, you know. So it was easier for me to find a job over there. It was my was but so but you you speak in English before you went? No. Oh, all right. Because we, we had a guest on just the other week as well that didn't speak a word of English and ended up in London. And, and then she she learned and went on to bigger and better things. So it, it's, it, it's quite common, actually, that there's a lot of like, people from different nationalities go to London and, and they don't speak a word of English. It's, uh, okay, you have to look at it also this way. If you wanted to learn the language, you will learn. If you don't want it to learn, then why are you there? Yeah. Especially in this country, especially in Lausanne, I know people who who uh, live here for many years doesn't speak word of French. Mm-hmm. And me, after four years living in here, I can have a full conversation. Like I can talk about my business. I can write. I cannot write yet because it's very difficult to write in French. Mm-hmm. Gina, you know you live in Belgium, so you know how it is. I'm uh, only here for a few weeks, two weeks, and then okay. leave and go back. But I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> the French writing is like way more than you speak. <laughs> yeah. So when I, uh, I prefer to have a phone call or personal meet than writing an email. But sometimes when I have to, I just use Google Translate. But most of your business now is done in which language? Uh, both English and French. Okay. Right. So from London, you you met your girlfriend there. Yes. Any particular place? Uh, in the county hall, next to London Eye. Oh, yeah. This is where I, this is, this is where I worked actually, the Marion County Hall. Yeah. Yeah. This is where I worked. Yeah. So this is okay. how how did that happen then? I'm just curious. Uh, we worked together. We worked together, and somehow. It's, somehow it's it's been on, almost eight years now. <laughs> wow, eight yeah. years and one child later. Yes, he's two years old now. Yeah, he was born in twenty nineteen. Yeah, All right, excellent. So, why did you decide then? So you were both living in London, and then you decided Switzerland. How how did Switzerland come around? It was her idea actually because uh, her parents her parents. Uh, wanted to move to many years ago but they never kind of like really like decided to actually do it but then when she started talking about switzerland there was in 2016 her parents managed to get a job in the hotel so they moved so then we were like and then she was like oh my parents are moving now and stuff like that i was like she kind of changed my mind and I, I bought a couple of books about Switzerland, you know, work and live in Switzerland, mm-hmm. uh, the language and, and all the stuff. And then uh, I came, we came with it three times and for the fourth time was one way ticket. All right. No return. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, so you get, gave up everything in London. Oh, just yeah. out of curiosity, in London, where, where did you live? I lived in uh, 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 I lived, um, Camden Town, oh, yeah. Elephant and Castle, uh, Waldhamstow, uh, Stratford. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you know how London is. Places. People are moving each day, you know, for the, to the new places, you know. Yeah, I like Campton Town. Oh yeah, no, 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 oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I, I used to live in in the East End in Bow. Oh yeah, I know where. I know where. Yeah, yeah. I know. Where. I worked in the West End, and that was a nightmare every day. Yes, I know the traveling. That's why I went to London a couple of weeks ago, and I cannot stand the traveling anymore. No, well, I I couldn't. So. Uh, because I have a motorbike license, I bought a motorbike and you get to know all the shortcuts. So it was quicker than using oh, yeah. the, the underground was to go on a bike through the traffic right, from one end to the other. That was great fun. And you could park anywhere free as well. So that was good. That's true. You can park anywhere. Yeah. 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 So you, you came to Switzerland with no job. Mm -hmm. Right. And you didn't speak the language. You were in the French speaking part. Yes. And yeah, tell me how, what, what did you do? What did you think? And you think, oh shit, we're here now. What am I going to do? Uh, I was kind of excited because uh, this was, this was, this is excitement for me that I don't know anything about it. I have no job. I had, don't speak the language. I have no friends. Like how this was the excitement. It was kind of, how can I, I can, how can I describe it? It's like a being afraid, but happily afraid. Like mm -hmm. you, you are excited with the fear inside, you yeah. know? So, uh, because I have, uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the experience in the hospitality industry, like the hotels and restaurants. So that was pretty easy to find a job. Like I managed to get a part, get a, get a part-time job in a bar where pretty much everybody was speaking English because Lausanne is, you know, it's lots of expats. You get lots of English speaking people, you know. But your girlfriend had a job to come to. Oh, yeah, yeah. She had a job before we moved. So that gave her, I guess, the permit to get here. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then you came off the back of that. Yeah, so. we came together. Yeah, like we sent our luggage and like, I'm here, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is how it was, yeah. So, and then we were like... Uh, so I managed to get us to go to, uh, I managed to go to the, I found this part-time job that I worked like Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays in the night. And then I went to the school Monday to Thursday to learn French. Okay. But school, I was in, I learned something, yeah. you know, but, uh, but, but you had, I gave, up, I, I gave up after one month because the best way to learn the language is to be around people who actually speak French yeah. every day. Yeah. They speak, to, they speak English. Yeah. yeah. But they, they like, they doing it on purpose to you and they speak in French in front of you, which is a good thing. Yeah. You know, so, uh, after this part-time job, I managed to get a summer job, uh, on the terrace here in Ushi. And this was kind of, uh, like, uh, it was a full-time job, but like temporary full-time job, you know, able. And then I was, uh, every, when I started working there, everybody was speaking French. So <laughs> yeah. I, like I had, I had to learn, I learned how to say fork knives, you know, like a baby. Yeah. yeah. Like from the scratch completely, you know? And then uh, I'm, uh, this is was this was my uh, this was my uh, job, and then I managed to get another full time job that got me permit B. Yeah, but so, did you have, I mean, to do what you're doing now? Where did that kind of pivot point come into that? How did you decide about? I mean, we're going to discuss. I mean, what you're doing. I mean, maybe tell us a bit about what you're doing now and how did that come about? Because. So you what, do I, what I what I do now, I run a small video production company in in Lausanne, where I kind of uh, I have my studio where I have professional camera. Where I, what I do is I'm doing uh, music videos for uh, Swiss artists. I'm doing uh, big music festivals. Uh, actually, I'm going to Geneva tonight for another electronic techno festival that is going on until Sunday. 
music videos, uh, video for, for, for product. Uh, what else? Oh my goodness. Uh, I shoot like interviews for the corporate people. I've managed to get a job for one of the biggest bank in, uh, in Switzerland, UBS. I managed to get a job with them. And yeah, it's a whole story how I got from that, that my, from my educa kind of education, from my experience to do something completely different. Right. So, so tell us a bit about how that happened. So when you, when you were in London, you did anything about photography? No, nothing, nothing. And throughout your kind of childhood and everything, nothing about photography. My dad, actually, actually, when I when I lived in America, I know a guy. I met a guy who actually looked like me, also bald head, yeah. glasses, beard, yeah. pretty much like a twin. Yeah. <laughs> and he was a photographer, and he kind of got me. He he's the one who kind of like kind of like uh, he when he told me like, oh, I'm a photographer. I was like, wow, like. That kind of caught my eye, you know, to, to, yeah. to like, I know maybe some helping with something, you know, and stuff like that. So he's the one who got me into this. And then so, my dad. So, so when, when, when was that? When you were a kid? No, when I was, when I, when I was about 30, 30, 30, 32, I think. 32, All yeah. Right. But I didn't really pay attention that I will actually can make it as a yeah. full-time job. So kind of, what, what was that point that you thought, oh, photography, I need to go and buy a camera and. And everything else. When I moved to Switzerland, so so what changed? It was a kind of the scenery. You thought that's beautiful. I need a camera to take a picture of that. Uh, yes, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. But uh, I do, I do photos like just for me. But I mostly like do videos. This is like ninety percent. But uh, when I came to when I came to Switzerland, I realized that I'm in, in this specific age and I cannot continue doing the job that I have mm -hmm. that I had at, at that moment mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I was going to work I was making this amount of money but it didn't actually make me happy it didn't fulfill me mm -hmm. you know so and then after when I after, after the when I found the job and everything I started making videos with the iPhone and stuff like that and then I learned everything basically from the YouTube mm -hmm like best source of information like ever yeah, yeah you want to do graphic design coding like go on youtube like this yeah. like everything's over there for free you just have to pay your monthly bill for the phone that's it and then uh things got so big that so, I so, was, so, yeah? so the photography actually started on an iphone yes everything started with iphone yeah, yeah 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 so you had the you had the camera you had the video and yeah. you thought, and, and that was it. That that was your photography. That was this is how I started everything. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then, and then, 2018 in June, I quit my full time job in in Switzerland, and I was already yeah. Yeah. After one year, after one year and three months living in Switzerland, I quit the job, and then um, uh, quit my job, and basically I just started uh, business. Right. So to tell us, at, at some point you thought, well, I, I'm pretty good at this. So did you test it out for someone or did you make your own videos and start playing? Yeah, I make, my, I, make my own I make my own videos, like especially the nature, but I started basically look for, uh, I went on YouTube, I look for like filmmakers and people who's making videos and stuff like that. So get inspired. How can I make this possible? How can I make this as my like a, as my income? Mm -hmm. And so I got inspired by other by other creators, and then things just start kind of how con the dots started somehow connected to each other. And then the, my development with my mindset first came, because you have to be motivated to start something. Yeah. And now it's not a motivation anymore. It's a habit. Mm -hmm. And now it's a cons consistency. Yeah. It's in, you have, it's like a hamster on a wheel. Mm -hmm. You have to, you, you have to keep going. Okay. When the hamster fail, this means you will fail. But what the hamster do, he gets off the wheel, he falls, but he gets on the hamster wheel and keep moving. So it was a lot to do with mindset as well then. Yeah. Yeah. You, yes. Like and, and, it's the, the and, first thing. 
It's the first thing. Believe in this was something that you you wanted to do because it, I mean you you said that you wanted something more meaningful. Yes, and something that fulfills me, something that makes me join men at every day. You know, because you're you're a creator because you're you're creating something magical. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a it's 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 not a job like. I, I don't have a job. I live life, like, you know, so it's you, not a you, job. So you work alone? Yes, I'm, yes, Suc- successful. Success, it's a lonely road. Yeah, but in, in saying that, you've had to learn a lot because you, you moved then from an iPhone to a, a professional camera. Yeah. So uh, I, I know what you've got, but I mean, or what you had, I don't know if you still got that. So, I mean, what do you, what equipment do you use? Now I have a full professional camera that shoots 4K to 8K, like professional, like some of the videos that I've done made it to the MTV Germany, yeah. Swiss, national, Swiss national TVs, uh, some music videos went to South America, Dominican Republic and stuff like that. So I, I reinvest in 2020, I, I reinvest all my money that I made in 2020 back into my business, like yeah. everything. So you have multiple cameras now, equipment? Uh, yes, I have two now, yeah. Because I remember, wasn't it you had a Sony or something? Yes. When I... I'm still with Sony, but I have like the, 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 the newest that ever they came out. All right. So the, the one that you originally had when, when we met, you don't I have still that. have it. Oh, you still have that. Yeah, it's a memory, you know? Yeah. Because that was also a, a cool one. So now can you imagine like what is the new one now? Like it's it's like I have to buy a new computer to 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 handle all the files and everything. So so, so how did we meet? I can't remember now. I don't I don't even know. So I think somewhere somewhere on some website or something. I don't I on a on a Facebook page somewhere. I don't know. Right. No idea. Or maybe I was looking for a photographer or something. I I can't remember. But so it, you you do more video rather than photography these days yes yeah and you also use other equipment i mean like I, i've seen some of the, the videos that you've done using drones yes and we live in switzerland like you have to have a drone <laughs> yeah so you you have a, a favorite type of videos that you actually make every single one since i started yeah but if you had to pick a, a typical theme or industry I mean, would it be music? Would it be, would it be a, a typical type? Because I know that you, you've some of the the stuff that, that you've done, particularly with the hotels and using a drone. I remember the the hotel in Lausanne that you you did. I mean, that that was I think, fantastic. I think I think I like the, the 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 music festival that I do. This is what I like to enjoy the most. The music festival. Music festivals. Yeah, I, I remember one of the early ones that you did, and you had a. The, on, in the swimming pool as well yeah. and, and you change the sound your sound effect then i have i've done uh it it always depends on the project you know uh, music videos now i've learned so much uh, how to make those music videos so it's easy and how to edit quickly like yeah. now i can edit the music video in about eight hours right so you have special equipment for that editing equipment oh yeah yeah i have professional computer like 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 space space shuttle. Yeah, I, and the, the sound. I mean, when you went back in music and stuff, you you add all of that as well. Yeah, yeah everything, the sound effects and everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh. I'm paying for the pay. I'm paying for the music. Oh, okay. So, so I, I know you've got some excellent stuff that I've seen, and some stuff that I mean, even in the early days, I thought was so so good. That I mean, I think you're a natural at this because uh, it was very professional and. I, I think even then, I, I thought compared to what I'd seen before, was way up there on the on the ranking of very professional, and and that was many years ago. So, I, I've seen some of the the other stuff that you've got. So, tell me, how do you go about finding business? The business finding me now. Right. So at the beginning, you used to go out there looking for it. Uh, for the music festivals, this is a this is very good story. Also, uh, yeah. I saw this advertisement on a, on a Facebook. There's a music electronic music. I'm I'm a big fan of techno electronic music, 
and uh, I saw this festival and I've wrote a person on a Facebook like, hi, my name is blah, blah. And uh, if you're looking for some hands, like maybe take pictures or videos and stuff like that. And uh, the guy replied, it's like, I have no budget. I'm like, look, I'm wanted to help maybe to do something for you, maybe some pictures and stuff like that. And tomorrow is our 10th project together. Wow. Then tonight, tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I've done to one of the biggest electronic music festivals in Switzerland. There is like in a French part of... I mean, we, we are going to ask you to share some links as well so we can check them out. Okay. Right. So if you can do that, because some of them are, are fantastic. So you've, okay. you've got them all in one place that we can go back through the kind of the history and check. Yeah, some you of can, yeah I, can, I, can share, I can share the links. That... Right. So, so tell me about the name of the company. Uh, which one? Well, oh, the name of the company, Now or Never. Now or Never. So I, I know you quote that a lot. So, and also in, in talking to you, I mean, it, it's kind of the, the theme. It's not just about kind of the business. It's about th- your attitude as well. I, I wanted to have a name of the company that something had to do with my life and something that is mm-hmm. motivated rather than, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, JB photography, JB production or because when I have a meeting with a client, first I'm sharing my story, then I'm selling my business. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. Because you, you you actually quote that. Yes. So, you, you so you hi, hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Right. Little gymnastic for us. Uh, Pete, Pete's always in his car because he's in Georgia, Atlanta, oh, I see. Atlanta in the US. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, you can catch up on the recording. So, yeah, Pete is actually a, a branding guy. So, okay. kind of all of this goes together. That's why there's some interesting guests because a lot of them have some great skills that we, we could all help one another. Okay. So, Pete does a lot of branding stuff. And yeah, well, anyway, you can catch up with him later. Okay. So, some of the early photography and videography, I mean, you, I mean you'll actually say, that this was done on an iPhone and this is now done on this professional equipment. Mm-hmm. I, I know you were pretty good at doing that. You were saying what equipment that you were using. So you right. still have that. I mean, I, I didn't check that out, but you still say this was done on, on this camera and, and whatever. Yeah, nowadays, don't get me wrong, nowadays, especially with the social media like TikTok, the, the, the video that is made with the iPhone getting more views than a video made with professional camera. Yeah. And it's so true. And yes, yes, it depends on a, on, a, on a scenery, for example, and ideas and stuff like that. But I've seen some videos that are made just with the iPhone and they're getting more hits. They get into the algorithm of the, yeah. of the platform and they're getting views. Okay. So typically when you do a video uh, and these are more advertising videos for, for the companies and, or the people that you work for. Mm-hmm. So how long is a typical video? Uh, one minute, one minute thirty maximum. Oh, Especially really? for the for the festival, for the festival, one minute thirty maximum. Sometimes I do videos that are 50, 50 seconds. Yeah, I, unless it's a music one, of course, and then it's oh yeah, just, it's music. Yeah, I had one there. music video that was four minutes fifty. That's so long, like so long, yeah. it's too long. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, you do everything. I mean, not just the, <coughs> the video, the editing, everything. You're also kind of the director in the way that you go there. And if it's a music video, do you work with them and say, no, I, it's better to have a scene or a shot from here, another one from here, or are you uh, work with a choreographer or something? On there, the are two, there are two or three music videos that I did it by myself. Yeah. That I directed, I, I find the location. And the last video that I'm going to share probably tonight or tomorrow was shot in, a, in a, one of the parks in Lausanne, another part in the studio, in my studio where I, where I'm, where I have all my stuff. But usually when it's like a big production, we are like six, seven people. We have a makeup artist, we have a photographer, we have somebody who's doing a light. So it's a, it's a kind of big, big group of people, you know? So, but sometimes they also like, they wanted to, sometimes my job is just to go there to shoot and edit because yeah. this is how the artists and the people who's hiring yeah. me, this is how they wanted to, to yeah. have this video done. But sometimes I have to direct the people like, 
I don't think this is going to be looks good at this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. point. Let's move the camera on a little bit to the right, yeah. you know, this way. So now that the business, I mean, you're not out there hunting for business. It's kind of coming to you. And, and when you've done a video with one person, like you mentioned the 10 times now you've done with someone. So you're getting recurring business because obviously you've proven yourself and you, they get good results. Yeah. So uh, are you looking to expand the business and have more or are you happy the way it is with just you doing it? Um, I'm happy to, I would like to expand maybe international a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe like in Italy or maybe go to France, maybe go to Germany to do some work and stuff like that. But uh, I'm happy with the Swiss market. Mm -hmm. There is a competition, yes, of course. But uh, now I'm at a stage where uh, I, I have three, four clients a month rather than have a... Okay, explain this way. Sometimes it's... I'm at a stage right now with my business where I have a three, four clients a month and paying exactly maybe even more rather than like like six or seven or eight clients mm -hmm. do you know what i mean so the prices yeah. are a little bit different different clients different budget you know so right it's very different but because this is kind of personal in, in a way that you want to it is kind of your vision and your view mm -hmm. on the outcome then you need to be involved in kind of the editing the, the filming and, and everything that goes in between yeah because it's it's also your from your creative flair and your imagination on how it's going to turn out. So mm -hmm. to get someone to say, well, you do the editing might not necessarily work because they wouldn't necessarily do it the way that you wanted it. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm, I like to be when when it comes I mean, when it comes to the music videos, I have I, I'm doing it with the artists together or with the people that are hiring me. But because there is a storyboard for the music video, how they wanted to do uh, for the for the techno festival for the electronic festival, uh, it's uh, I'm doing the way I think it's right. Mm -hmm. I think the way it should be done. Uh, for example, the project that I did for the UBS, the private bank here in Switzerland, is that. Uh, I sent uh, one version of the music of, of the video that they asked me to do, and it and it and it was it was done. It was perfect, like from A to Z. Uh, excellent. So I'm just gonna kind of open this up to the audience as well to ask any questions, or you ask questions to the audience. I mean, I I mean, if people would use video in their business, uh, I know Selena does. So Selena, I I don't know if you just want to say. I mean, because with beauty products and other thing that you use video i mean i don't do, do storyboards but i have people uh for the storyboards uh if i have a music video that is just the artist who, who's hiring me yes i do the storyboards yes i do the All storyboards right. for the music festivals i don't do storyboards because i know exactly how i supposed to do but when it comes to the uh, music videos, yes, storyboard is important because you need to know what you're going to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Another project that I that I did for the UBS Bank, I did a whole entire storyboard. Oh, excellent. So, Zelina, you, you can't talk? You... Yeah, I can. Sorry, I was just, I just thought that he had the opportunity right. to continue with his. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what you're saying is so brilliant. I really love what you're doing. And how you uh, came, uh, you know, you you fought, fought, came against all odds, and you just made it happen for you. Because I totally love um, photography and videos as well. I do my own creativity, and I've learned a lot, as you say, on YouTube and just using my own intuition. But I, I know you have your big clients, and um, I guess you had different price range for for a different um, in. I would say different businesses, different categories, but I would love to um, connect with you because I have a lot of areas in my business and the health, the wealth, the beauty and wellness. So I'm a product and service and also looking to, you know, work with someone who can really execute a good um, video for me, for my story brand. I have had many story brands done for me, but I never released them because I was never happy. Okay. <laughs> I, I have, I've, really invested a lot and I never got what I wanted I've written my storyboard everything 
but now I have different aspects in the business and I've added on so many layers. So it would be mm-hmm. really good to maybe have a conversation with you okay. if that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, you. sure. You're based in Switzerland, so. I'm not a UBS, so <laughs> I'm just a startup. <laughs> yes, uh, I'll be honest with you, like, especially when it comes to this project with the UBS, they choose me between three people. Mm-hmm. So uh, I saw they offer, they send it to the UBS, and it was just ridiculous. Like, yeah. because it's, this, is the, this is the company that we're going to make the videos, why don't you just... Why don't just put the price absolutely the highest you can possibly do? Mm, yeah. Some people are hungry. They wanted to eat everything at the same time. And I wanted mm-hmm. to eat slowly because if yeah. you need to celebrate the small wins to get to the big, to get to have the bigger wins. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, and it's true. It's, I, I see it. It's true. Sometimes I, I work with a music studio. They're actually hiring me to do the music video so they get a cut. And I, I totally understand and mm-hmm. I have no problem with it, but okay. Maybe sometimes I did a music video for this, for this price, but I did one music video. I'll be on, very honest with you now. Okay. I did a music video that they were involved about six or seven people. Okay. I, I had some cut, but the video got almost half a million views on the YouTube. Wow. And this video brought me another about maybe five, six clients with completely different price. Mm-hmm. you know so some people are hungry i'm i'm not hungry for money i'm not chasing money i at the beginning yeah. i was yeah but not now I, i'm looking at my business i'm looking at the world completely different way yeah i totally align with you and i'm pretty much on the same path it's not just about the money because it's no. really about saving humanity and serving my purpose on this planet oh. and really bring in you know what i do um to uh, to bring the message clear and yes. concise. I mean, the videos are not supposed to be long, as you say. I I, I get it. Yeah. One minute in the past, I had three two minutes for the story brand, but I think I can condense it as well. And I'm yeah. also I'm working the business in in fashion and lifestyle, so I'm also a makeup artist, stylist, and I've worked with many photographers. But you know, to have someone with fresh perspective. Uh, like you and where you came from it, it's a beautiful story and i totally um, I, I noticed i noticed sorry to, to interrupt you but i um, noticed also that, that people who went to the film school don't really have that kind of maybe ideas the vision mm-hmm. then then people who actually just learn just who just like it you know like i'm doing it because i like it like Tonight, I'm doing a music fest, techno festival that started at 10 o'clock in the evening and finished at 7. Mm. But I like the music, so I just go there and enjoy and, and, and I work at the same time. Yeah, I understand. I, I go on shoots and I stay for hours and I immerse myself because I just love what I do. And I, I you know, it, it's, it's nice to work with people from different you know it's a different perspective oh, and yes. i love really love it because i have worked with old school photographers video makers everything so mm-hmm. i got the new the, the modern the old style the everything i've been around a long time and mm-hmm. i really love what you're doing and how you came through it that's such a beautiful story uh, wait, it, wait until you see the videos I mean, yeah I'm blow blow you away. i really wanted to it see was, it was uh it's kind of uh i had two choices in my life Either I continue the path of stereotyping life, work, sleep, work, sleep, weekend, <laughs> work, sleep, work, sleep, or I have a I will or I will start a completely new life with with the joy, mm-hmm. like living, like you said, Jane, yeah, with, purposeful, like, you, like you're living, yeah. like you now you now I know what I'm living living my life and like I. Like I told you, I started living when I was at, at age 35, which is never too late. Yeah. Some people don't find it. <laughs> Some people don't really find this, you know, the, 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 the purpose of their life and what they wanted to do. They're just probably wasting your life, you know, like I went through some, like, you know, you come into the country, you don't know anybody, like zero, and you just start a business. I knew it's going to, I knew it. Like, how can I, like, I believed it. Like, I knew it's going to work. I knew it. Like, yeah, you have to you, believe it. 
it, yeah. it, yes, this is the first thing. If you don't believe you, you, you don't start. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 I hear you, you clearly. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. You have to like believe it and have a consistency. And uh, I create, for example, I now have people ask me like how I stay motivated. I don't stay motivated anymore. I stay consistent. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? I create, I go to the mountains, I create something just for own joy, for own pleasure, you know, just anything, you know, whatever, you know, like now I'm, I'm starting a, kind of like a presentation of myself, who I am, how I started, picture of me when I was a little kid, what I did before. It's going to go just on my Instagram because Instagram is like the main platform where I kind of sharing my work. Another good experience is... Uh, for example, when I had a client a couple of weeks ago, we shot a music video. She's, she said, I sent this amount of money with the invoice. And she said, she's, she paid me 30% more. Wow. So, you know, the, before I even start selling my product, I, I present myself who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not just like. So have you presented have, yourself in, a, in your own storyboard video? Have you done that yet? Like I said again, have you made a video of you and kind of your story? Yes, um, it's 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 going to it's 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 in the progress. What you're doing? Yes, it's in the progress. Yes, it's in the progress. Mm -hmm. Like kind of presentation, who I am, uh, where I'm based, uh, what I do, what I did before, and kind of yes, it's because it's, I I feel kind of this is missing in in business. I mean, I I've worked with a lot of companies and sales guys, and I say. Like, like, what do you do? I'm an account manager. And I'm kind of bored already. And tell me about the company. Uh, well, we were founded in this time. We've got X amount of people. And I'm, I'm bored or double bored. Right? That's boring. Yeah, that's so boring I want to something that's going to inspire me. It's going to educate me, inspire me, going to motivate me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even Paul said. I want to know more. And, and yeah. this is was, was storytelling. Yes, I mean, you can do it in many different ways, but yeah. storytelling, you need to have your stories. And this, this is the essence of kind of what we do here yeah. is to, to create the stories and how you present them. Yeah, it's also in, in a video format, in, a, in, in speaking, uh, your, your brand. I mean, Pete can talk all about brand. How do you brand yourself? Yeah, for example, Paul, 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 Paul said about the positive, very, very important positivity you have to negativity is more famous than positivity like exactly. it's insane like yeah. people people think people ask me a couple of things like but you're studying all business what bad could happen but have you thought about it what good can happen yeah they already straight away negativity immediately yeah. you start said, boom negative like yeah, when I, I come on the shoot i come with the like i you know like the girls sometimes like I have an artist who shoot a music video for the first time. And I said, it's like, Luke, come down, relax. Okay, don't worry. We, if we spend extra hour, we spend extra hour. I want to make sure it's perfect, you know? Like sometimes I have artists who, like, who, who actually like, kind of like a singing like this, you know? I was like, no, 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 you chill. This is not you. you. You pretending to be somebody else right now. This is not you. I don't want that. I want you, you know? So yeah, positivity. Positivity, negativity is more louder than positivity nowadays. And this is, I learned, I always knew like positivity is very important, but I learned the difference now between positivity and negativity about three weeks ago. Like positivity, you have to go, like positivity, you have to, I come to the shoot, I come on a shoot with the client and with the joy, you know, with a smile, you know, <laughs> you can just come, just come like a, Okay, I, it happened to me that I came with hangover sometimes, you know, but I, everything was perfect, you know, we did yeah. a good job. It happens, you know. But, but th this is absolutely right. I mean, mindset and changing the frequency. Yes. yes. Moving away from that negativity, oh, yeah, I can't do it, it's too challenging, I'm not able, and kind of all the negative things, then you're just creating that negative path. You if you switch it to I can do it, I will do it, I'm going to do it, and then you're manifesting from the universe, all the good things, and that that's going to help you on that journey. Oh, also, I saw it once. People say like, oh, I cannot afford it. I cannot afford this. I cannot afford to buy this car. I cannot afford this camera. Yeah. But you think of this way. How can I afford it? You know, how can you, how can you afford it? How can you find a way to afford these things? 
make it an intermediate target. <laughs> Sorry? You make it intermediate target. So yeah, 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 yeah. I have a question. Yes. Uh, because uh, I told you I like photography, and uh, a couple of times I did a uh, job for friends to like weddings. So it was like totally for free for friends, but it's uh, quite uh, time consuming to do the workflow, to process, to choose the videos. How, how you do it? Because I guess you take some videos, uh, then you have different versions. What software you use? How, how much time it takes you to, to produce an end product? Uh, I usually, uh, music video can be done in 48 hours. Wow, okay. that's quick. Uh, before yes. it was horrible because I didn't know anything about it. I had to learn. So when I quit my job, I, I, I reduced lots of friends. Like a lot, like a lot, like I don't have, I don't have friends. I'm by myself. I am my best friend, me, <laughs> you know? So I reduced my friends and turn off the net. I didn't watch Netflix. The only thing I cared about was my business that I, I had because it's only me. I am the one who has to make it work. There's nobody else. Like, like what, what's the name? Like what, what's the name? Uh, Mel Robinson, he said like, no one is coming for you. No one, you're on your own. If I won't do it, who's do, nobody's doing it for me. So for six months, I, I, I grind, I can say I, I say, I say it this way. I grind watching it YouTube and learning. Like it was a nonstop process. And this was during, a, this was uh, 2018. And then 2019, my son was born and people asked me like, when do you work? Like I worked during a night when my son was sleeping. This is how I worked. This is, that was the only option for me. But then, I came to the point, my son started walking and touching all my material. I'm like, you don't touch anything. Like, this is like, this is such a big value for me. You cannot just, you know, break it. Like if he breaks it, okay, I understand. These toys are mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I managed to, I managed to move to, I managed to move to the studios when I'm renting a room now where I have my own space now, but I come and spend, I only have like three times, four times a week because My son's at, at, at school, uh, like, the, like the kindergarten. My fiance also work 100%. So I have to find this balance somehow, you know, so. so you, you also mentioned, I mean, you went to different countries for doing video shoots. I mean, you still do that or you focus more, like, as you said? Uh, I, went to, I, went to, I went to Spain. I went to Italy. I went to France, of course. Uh, just not too far from the border, but it's France, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to really focus on a Swiss market. Like there is, yeah. there is, there is enough work for everybody. There is enough work. Yeah. So yeah. So we just kind of we've gone over the time a little bit, and okay. yeah, I, I know other people had to drop off because they had other things to do. But we'll we can keep the chat going in the chat on LinkedIn, right? Because okay. I put you all in the in the chat. Uh, Paul, did I put you in there as well? Are you in the yeah, chat? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah I was there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. everyone should be in the chat there. So just carry on the, the conversation. This is for you. I mean, it's for you to all connect with each other. And I mean, from my side, you'll, you'll see some more things developing as we go through. But the whole idea is to bring people together. I mean, like Zelina and you are going to have a conversation and see maybe what you can do together and, and mm -hmm. others. And... Yeah, also Pete with Brandon. I mean, with Brandon is a is another part of uh, of storytelling and and bringing your 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 brand alive. <laughs> Quote what you say. And so, I mean, the, these conversations we don't just have to end here. We can continue them as well, and even have a a separate discussion and and, and can continue that journey. So, with all your experience now, I I know we're kind of cutting this off now because we're 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 kind of going over the time uh yeah you, you should definitely connect with emily because she's in in lausanne she creates some videos as well with the the kids you're going to connect with zelina okay. I, i suggest connect with everybody here as well uh and then we'll, we'll carry on that journey 
Is there anything, any kind of message that you want to leave us with? That because you mentioned a lot about kind of where you are on your journey and maybe some of the challenges that you've had and, and, and turning up in Switzerland with nothing and having to create something. So any message that you want to leave us with? Don't be afraid to start something. Sorry, say again. Don't be don't be afraid to start something that you wanted to do. Don't be afraid. Or maybe start it now or never. Now or never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and it's never too late, as you said. I mean never. Oh no, 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 no. I mean, people think right. that oh, they have to get this academic or education. My dad, for example, my dad, he my dad, he always wanted to finish, he always wanted me to finish the school. Like you have to finish school and school. And now, when I tell him that I kind of, if I run successful business, no, I run happy business. That's two different things. Yeah. You know, if you are happy, your business is rolling. And it's, it's true, you know, like if you provide good things to the good people, you, you, I will, you will meet some negative people. Of course, I met lots of negative people who just, I have a people who just like, oh, I, I see you doing videos. How much? I'm like, I, so I, I don't work this way. Uh -huh. I don't. I, I never will. I'm not like a like one night stand. No, you know what I mean? No, no. Like if you wanted to work with me, you, we will have a journey together. Not just like video and voice. Thank you very much. No, like the journey, you know, like what would you like to do? You know, let's meet. Let's 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 know each other more and then talk business. Not just like business and end of story, you know, so. Yeah, no, I, I love it. I love your your attitude as well. And because of that, you've also, you, didn't you start doing a podcast or something some time ago? Yes, I did start it. I've, I've managed a couple, a couple of things, but in here in Switzerland, people don't want to do things. They don't want to like, like. No, I, I didn't want to do a podcast yeah. per se. I wanted to do something more interactive like this because the, you're actually speaking to real people. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I started, yeah. but yeah, I have some. I have I have a couple of people who are very interested to hear my to share my to hear my story how I start business from yeah. scratch, like from nothing. Yeah, I, I had I, a, also one thing that I had a while I was working on my success, I had a part time job that I hated, but there was you have to make the dirt job to get a good job to get a clean job, you know. So I work, I work as a part-time, I work as a part-timer in a hotels and restaurants around the Lausanne. Yeah. And on my days off, I was working on my business to make it work. And now in 2021, it's official 100% income. Yeah. Like Excellent. I survived the whole entire year. Well, just congratulations doing this. on that, on that success. Because it's I a slow know. step, you know, it's not like the, like people say, it's not like six figures, you know, not yet. <laughs> okay but i see the process of financially you know okay 2020 has been has been massive we messed it back into my business like yeah. all the money that i make in 2020 i put back in everything like i start guys i start with like thousand dollars in my account in january 1st like i only could pay rent that's all because i put everything back everything yeah. like yeah like when i when i saw this camera came out that i always wanted to buy i will say it kind of not a bad way, like just shut up and take my money, you know, like yeah. give me the stuff because I knew it, it will make me money back. Like I knew it, it will, it will come back. But the most important other thing, uh, Paul Johnny, also patience. Patience is a big partner in your business. It's yeah. huge. It's massive. It's huge. So I, I love all of these stories and everybody's got fantastic stories to tell. And it'd be, that's why, as I said, I want to continue and keep these journeys going because if someone's business isn't going the way they want it, then hopefully we can all get together and, and help that person out as well. So I know Selena does, she mentioned that she does, she does podcasts. And so you, you can be a guest on her show. I, I, I'm still waiting to be a guest. I uh, really, I'm not, I'm not billionaire. I don't make six figures. I have, my life is complete. Yeah, it's not about the money. It's about every day that you're enjoying waking up and getting out of bed. Yes, yes, yes. Like it's agreed. Uh, it's agreed. Uh, just... I, I mean, money helps, but I mean, <laughs> that that's not why we get out of bed. It is about serving one another and 
enjoying what we do. And if we're people not enjoying think, what we do, we have to people question think that money, that money unlock the happiness. No. Wrong. <laughs> no. Uh, I have a car from 2006, broke down twice on the highway. The guy has to come and pick me up. The clutch broke, the brakes broke. And I just don't want to sell this car because it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> like I need to buy a new bigger car because I have a family you know, and I have equipment and stuff like that. But I have a, I live in an apartment. It's not mine because I'm renting. Of course, like 80% people in Switzerland because it's very expensive. Yeah. But it is possible to buy a house in Switzerland. It yeah. is. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Yes, it's, it, it's possible to buy a chalet. I have an apartment that is, is just perfect. Yeah. But like, I, I, I mean, if we look at, if you have that positive attitude, then everything is possible. I mean, a, a good friend of mine that uh, he, he, we were driving on the highway uh, in Switzerland and we had, went through a tunnel of all things. And he said he needed to stop to get some fuel. And I said, well, how low are you? And he was said, the red lights on. I said, you sure you don't want to get it now? No, no, I know a garage. I'm going to get there. Anyway, we went through the tunnel and just outside the other side of the tunnel, he broke down, run out of fuel. And we had to pull over to the, the hard shoulder. And there was like kind of this wall, right? You couldn't see on the other side. And he said, yeah, I, I believe that everything will be okay. So we looked over this wall and over the other side of the wall was a garage. <laughs> He got a can from the back of his car, jumped over the wall, crossed the highway, well, not the highway, but the, the side road, filled his car up and off he went. And he said that you've just got to believe that everything will be okay. You have to, you have to. Uh, but also wanted to share some uh, kind of, uh, I mentioned to James before before you all went on uh, on this journey together, uh, yeah. Zoom journey. Uh, there's also kind of sad things that happen in my life. And yes. this kind of affects me that, that I want to live even more than I lived before. I have a son who's, uh, who's two years old, who was born in 2019 in November. But then the COVID came and uh, obviously not able to travel and stuff like that. So uh, I was not able to travel home. So my parents could meet him in person. But my mom was sick and 21st of December, 2020, she passed away. So I wasn't not able to go to a funeral. I was not able to, to say goodbye. I was not, she wasn't able to meet my son in person. So this was kind of like, I was like, and it happens like two days before Christmas. Like people can pass away any time of the year, but not on Christmas. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, this is like, the Christmas will never be the same. I know that. But I was devastated for about nine days till the 31st of September, December, where I was like, I woke up 1st of January. I was like, okay, you move on. You have your life. You have your family. You have to move on. And I managed to go back home now in October when my dad met my son for the first time. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of, you know, then I came home and my mom is not there. The clothes are gone. It's, it's very weird feeling. I don't, I, I can't describe it. It was sad, you know. Like, I found her, I found her glasses, I found her pen. Uh, uh, sad. It's a, but yeah, that's it, life. We all gonna die one day. Hopefully not yeah. now, or tomorrow, or tonight, you know. But we will. So that's why I always tell people like, go things that you wanted to do in your life. Not about anything else. Just try it. People's like, oh, I don't know what I like. First, before, you, sorry, that's, that's, that's my cat with me. I mean, this is my cat. <laughs> yeah, I have a cat with no hair. <laughs> and uh, similar people, to you. Sorry? Similar to you. Yeah, similar to me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah similar to me. So it was kind of. Not uh, how you chose it. Yeah. So it was like. I always tell my fiance is like sometimes like she's like sometimes she's like oh I'm so tired with our son and I don't sleep enough I'm like look we have you have to keep going you cannot give up on things you know like you have to like my son was sick last week like puking and shitting and ah and I left work I canceled three meetings I canceled my shooting I lost money but I didn't care because I was home with for my family mm -hmm. and I knew 
if I cancel shooting and I lose this amount of money and I lose clients, I knew I know it's gonna bring me back more because mm -hmm. I did something that was more meaningful than go with this client or go for the shoot, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I mean sharing these stories is very personal. So I, I thank you for sharing that. And also kind of although it's hard at the time, it also motivates you to not waste time on existing, but rather than living. And and living is is, is doing everything that pleases you. So whether it's with the family, uh, with your your girlfriend and and, and and whatever, I mean, with the work in particular, because that's what you're spending most of the yeah. time doing. Like, and if it's not pleasing you, then you have to question why you're doing it. Yeah, like like the most valuable thing ever in my life right now is time. Mm -hmm. Like every minute counts, every second counts in my life. At the so moment, much. Like, this this will all change in the future. When I met my girlfriend and she was late for our first date, about fifty minutes, it's just like you late one more time. You are you and me are not together. Like like me, I'm on point. Like like especially like the job you spend most of your life working you have to make sure that this thing is on point every day yeah you know like i share i also Elon Musk said one day in one of the, his podcasts he said that people <laughs> people only uh, people only post and share pictures on instagram where they are happy they don't share pictures where they're not unhappy I share pictures. I share a picture last year on my Instagram, where no, I'm I'm speaking for myself now. Okay, I don't want to feel you guys offensive or feel offended or anything like that. But when the COVID hit, I think this was the best thing because the only thing I lost was money, nothing else. I think there was a, such a push. That that you keep going that you you have to keep going you have to keep creating you know so it was okay i lost i lost this amount of money i lost projects but i didn't lose belief and consistency this is where i became very consistent like i create i went to the mountains i create this 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 i learned this i learned this i learned that it was it was amazing i i don't want this thing to come back of course we don't want that but um, everybody felt everybody taken 2020 a little bit differently you yeah. know some people lost family some people got divorced some people lost parents or some people yeah, or, lost the job lost the, yeah exactly so there you go so we have to kind of wrap up now so oh, okay uh, I, okay cool, cool. okay, yeah. okay. So i can I, talk ages guys like seriously I, <laughs> Well, this is the good thing. This is the opportunity to, to talk and share your story. So, I mean... We love your story. Thank you, Talina. Thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> we, we love all the stories. I mean, that's why we yeah. came on here to hear people's stories. Yeah. So, and if you've missed a story, I mean, there are recordings. I mean, yeah. Yeah, everyone here, apart from Paul, has actually shared their story. So there are recordings there as well. So all of this I'll make available so everybody can see. So just to wrap up now, so you, you've told an amazing story. I've learned more about you, although I thought I knew something about you before. I've actually learned a lot more. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad that you've actually pursued and been very successful. <laughs> done. This is excellent. I do recommend that everybody checks out some of the videos. If you could make those available, so you can either share them in the chat now or if you want to share them in the chat on LinkedIn, because yeah, I, will, I will do it this way. Put it on Everybody's on the LinkedIn, on the LinkedIn Everyone's chat. On, oh, yeah. in the chat. Yeah. So share, share the links in there because then, right. So then everybody can, can see them. You can continue the conversation in there. That's the whole idea. So don't feel that you're abusing it because that's the idea. We are, we're there to, to connect with each other and, and to mm -hmm. continue that journey. And you've been a fantastic guest. I, 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 I love your stuff. I, I think it's excellent. I love the essence and the story behind that and where you've come from. Uh, your education, I mean, is, is just perfect. I mean, you don't have to feel ashamed about anything. School of life, like you said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, life education is, to me, 
is the most valuable thing that you can possess and it's better than having an a plus in maths mm. right so mm. you you've you've done us proud to, to be a guest i i love your stories thank you so much and i, I i'd like to like maybe come back again next year and, and tell us where you are and how things have progressed on since since this conversation people i it's like development you know bigger projects better camera maybe go into the film industry maybe be a be somewhere where you can make a movies or go somewhere rather than switzerland but maybe you maybe know. you can do one for us actually uh well, the feature you guys have guests. Switzerland. well all the featured business guests i mean you could do a, a video of all of us if i have, you have to all come from switzerland <laughs> well maybe maybe that's possible i disconnect from traveling like i would yeah. love to get a business different country but I've traveled for the past. I went to London, I went to France, then I went back home and yeah. I disconnected. Maybe, yeah, me. maybe we can do a, a featured business party or something and then yeah, get after or, or after video or something. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anyway, on that note, I uh, thank you once again for being our 68th guest. Thank you. And I wish you great success. I thank you to the, the audience, the regulars that come on every week. And I wish you all success as well. And have a, a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you with our mysterious guest next week. Okay. Thanks very much, guys. Have a good week. Free to join okay. next week. Thanks, Thank everyone. you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thanks. I'm Bye. still working. James, do you want to stay on for a minute? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just stop the recording. Well, I'll yeah. still stay on.